Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games for rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And they continue with the sinking city, blind. Now, last time I got a little bit bamboozled. Uh, because I was looking for the university in the completely wrong place. Uh, so, right now. I'm going to go into this district and look for it here. Okay, there's an infested area to greet me. Uh, which I'm not a big fan of, but... Oh yeah. uh, let me take a look where the other things are, such as there's a mystic tome uh, in Reed Heights, north of the intersection of Communion Road and Museum Avenue. Communion Road... Communion Road. Okay, so, so, so that's a completely different place. Um, Salvation Harbor. Uh, on Bourbon Road between Innsmouth Road and Oak Street. Uh, Oak Street, Bourbon Road. Uh, okay, between those two, you say. So somewhere over here, then. Uh, so that's a bit far away as well. Um, is there anything else in here? South Advent. Uh, oh, I actually forgot to go there. Okay, I'll have to go back. Uh, Central Reed Heights, Sam Reed Street and Bolton Lane intersection uh, Sam Reed Street and Bolton Lane uh, Where's Bolton Lane? Purity Road. Where is Bolton Lane? I could have sworn I've seen it somewhere. Bolton Lane, right here. So, uh, what was it? Intersection of Bourbon Road and Bolton Lane? That's right here. So, that's a bit of a distance away as well. Uh, this is in Salvation Harbor. This is in Salvation Harbor. Uh, this is in Salvation Harbor as well, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Salvation Harbor. Okay, so there's no point in me going to this invested zone yet, I believe. Mm, I'll just go to, to the university for now. Wendell sent you to deliver me the books, right? Um, no. You must have me confused with someone else. Oh, excuse me. I'm just worried for the fate of these tomes. It's been a week without news from Wendell. Maybe you can help me. I I'd reward you, of course. Why not? What can I do? Oh, marvelous. Let's get acquainted then. Samuel hopes. Honorary member of Altera Parr's book club? Charles Reed, private eye. Good, good. Listen, we're missing three rare books. One was taken for restoration while the other two were being studied. I asked Wendell to contact all parties, but he's gone quiet. Here's our records. Please, retrieve the tomes. They're so very valuable. Why are they so valuable? 
They're the third, seventh, and ninth tomes written by the humble servant. The collection of all eleven books is our most prized possession. The author's real name is a mystery, but we know that he was an Oakmonter for sure. Okay, I'm on it. Bye. Okay, I'll do that, of course. Uh, but first, let me visit the university. Oh, closed, you say. Welcome to, to the University of Oakmont. <laughs> How can I help you? I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Uh, specimen? Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, he, he's in the d Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? It, 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 sorry. <laughs> We have hundreds of b bottles like this in the university. Uh, fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, a an analysis. Well, I I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. You have a good day. G g goodbye, sir. The Department of Medicine. Uh, okay, it's across the street. So I'll I'll grab the quick uh, the quick travel uh, spot. All on sale today only. EOD is banned to all staff and students in the University of Oakmont. Uh, he henceforth any mention of everyone's obvious duty organization, also known as EOD, its symbolics, cur current or past members, as well as espousing their beliefs is forbidden on university grounds on pain of dismissal and or expul expulsion. The administration has received numerous reports of EOD activity and outreach the disguised as so-called charity work throughout our university and all over Oakmont, this dangerous activity has reached endemic proportions and cannot be tolerated. Hello, sir. Welcome to Oakmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't mind. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Yeah, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day, I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional. And something went wrong. Really wrong. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Yes, you solve all problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. Okay, uh, offices, reception, basement. Uh, that's uh, Throgmorton's portrait. I guess he's probably a donor <sighs> of the oh, university. Much. 
Hmm. But floor two offices, where even is the staircase that, that goes up? I guess it would be behind this door, which I cannot reach. Two monsters, okay. It was far less difficult than I thought it would be. Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. Mm, okay, I think it's a Pretty stupid idea to press that, but I am very tempted to do it, nonetheless. Uh, experiment log part one, March se the second. I have finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's only the smallest one. The grunts called it Mr. Handsome, but I think it needs a proper name. I was thinking about the name for the specimen all night. I've began a series of experiments on the creature. So far it has proven exceptionally resistant to all the poisonous substance on my disposal, as well as acid and electrocution. It's shrieking though, it's bound to hunt me. Uh, last night I had a vision, thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket, uh, and I heard the name inside my head, Stygian Harvester. What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. Uh, I would say every uh, scientist worth his salt. Like, this is a scientific breakthrough because those creatures, by rights, sh should not exist, uh, you know, according to like mundane science. So I think every scientist would be very interested, interested in di dissecting something like that. I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Experiment log past part two. With these p pesky limitations removed, I can finally continue my experiments unhindered. I need to know more. The specimen remained alive even with half of its internal organs removed. It's fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in biology as we know it. I developed a way to reanimate their tissue, even in one that has, has been dead for weeks. This is monumental. The possibilities of it, the implications. D does it hint at something hidden? Some trait present inside other creatures, or perhaps even ourselves? I will need to find volunteers. Okay, I know I shouldn't be doing that, but I am going to press this. I wonder what would happen if I press this button. So very tempting. Okay, I, I regret that. Mostly because I consider actually fighting that creature be a waste of resources. Oh 
great. Evidence updated. Ev evidence in what? The lab is clear. Key to the lab. The student's request. EOD is banned. Okay, so I guess that counted, like, that just counted as an additional monster. I guess he had to clear it anyway, which it makes total sense to me, because to be honest, if I left it here, I would have exchanged the less dangerous monsters for more dangerous monsters, which is, you know, a bit deranged. Um, I'll get more health. Mm, your vitality increases further. That's plus 25%. That's, that's nothing to scoff at. Your lab is certified creature-free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Your lab was, uh, interesting. Running experiments on those creatures, what's up with that? Oh, they're fascinating, aren't they? Convincing evidence of new branches in the evolutionary tree. Can you blame us for taking an interest? Maybe not. But so much dead flesh down there, that's going to attract scavengers. Didn't you think about that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> well, be more careful in the future. Your point's taken. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. 
It's slow acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with ricin? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage, internal organ failure, and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study in our poison store or we did i'm afraid that must be where it came from the label had been tampered with but it certainly looks like ours where did you find it ah, crime scene someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it this is horrible i need to warn everyone in the university about this who's got access to where the poison's stored only professor westerbrook has the key his office is upstairs Right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well. On vacation. And where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait. You don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... Well... <sighs> All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key, but please don't disturb the professor's things. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beast that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. And what's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable, and easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I'll see you later. Okay, so let's go upstairs then. Professor Edwin Westerbrook closed for maintenance. Uh, Edwin Westerbrook. Note from Professor Westerbrook. This is absurd. It has been five months and they still haven't finished repairing my office. I'm done sitting in a corridor like some kind of a waiter. I won't step foot into the building again until the works are finished, or you give me Cavendish's office. You tell that to the board. I'm through with this farce. Authorized personnel only. Yeah, I could break this, and I will. Obviously, it seems pretty crucial to the case. Draft of an article, brothers and sisters, crossed out, too familiar, my fellow Americans, crossed out, they are Americans too. Citizens of Oakmont, how much longer will we put up with those fish-faced bastards, crossed out, 
those sea freaks crossed out. How much longer will we put up with this? Those cave forsaken degenerates who call themselves the EOD crossed out. Okay, so this Cavendish guy is an enemy of the of the EOD. What's what's a bar of soap with a key on it? What? How does that benefit me? That door won't budge. And these bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. Okay, so that so so he this is a, like a mold for a key, and I guess the key was probably to the poison cabinet because he has a motive for sure to um, to, po to 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 poison the fish that the EOD are giving out. He's clearly antagonistic towards them. Uh, Westerbrook has access to the poison. Uh, and George Cavendish made a spare key. Uh, George Cavendish, a professor in, at Oakmont University, is the poison thief. He made himself a copy to the key of, a, of the poison locker. According to his student, he lives somewhere in Advent. Mm -hmm. But somewhere is not exactly... Although I guess I could probably... Uh, like I can go to the city hall and try to look up, you know, his name in the registry, right? Uh, so that he, uh, so that it gives me the address. So I guess that's what I'm going to do, uh, but not not before doing other things uh, in the vicinity. Uh, I asked those questions already. I'll see you later. Uh, so let's see what the case with the books is about. Find the first book, the second eyelid. Um, the book was taken by students for personal reading. Address, the inner shine street between windswept road in western shells. Mastery of words. The book was given to a restorer. Uh, the single detached manor on Baker Street. Uh, Reed Heights South. Uh, somewhere in Advent. Uh, okay, so I have to look that up in the registry as well. But Baker Street, you say? Uh, that's right here. Uh, okay, so where exactly? Mm, between Harkin Road and Ambrose Street. Uh, so Baker Street between Harkin Road And what? And Ambrose Street. So somewhere over here then. Uh, right? Okay. So I I'll start with that. Because I'm relatively close to that place. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, this looks promising.
<laughs> yeah, there's probably another hidden wall up here. There usually is uh, in this layout. photo of some deep ones. That's pretty interesting actually. Hmm. But I guess this is not where the book is, which is fair. It's supposed to be on the Baker Street. I guess this, this is just a just a side location. Okay, this is an, an abandoned mansion of some sorts. The door won't budge. Okay, there's probably a side entrance. Sent letter, dear Mr. Samuel Hopes. I am pleased to report that I have successfully successfully restored the tome you sent me. But before we conclude our business together, I wonder if perhaps you might appreciate having some copies of the book. I would be honored to duplicate duplicate the work and would do so without charge. I am confident you will accept my proposal and have in fact finished copying the first chapter. A tome of such power deserves to be re read by many, should it not? Well, my guess it, it, uh, is that it shouldn't, and the guy was probably killed. Uh, but that, like that—that's my assumption that he might have been killed before he copied the book. Because obviously, if you have books of like arcane power, people who want them usually don't want other people to have access to them. A scrap of paper. Uh, someone, please help me! I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, written words can change the world. I want to sleep. I'm hungry. I can't feel my f fingers. Make the book stop, please. Written words can change the world. I guess alternatively he went mad trying to copy it. Go away. I mustn't stop writing. So many words. Mastery of words by your humble servant. The sound born on our on our, born on our tongues can be more powerful than you could imagine, my faithful reader, and the written words can change the world. I shall teach you how to use these words to control weak minds. Should you kneel before his, this tome and absorb its teaching, so too shall others kneel before you. But such power is only for the worthy, and will destroy those unfit to wield it. Blessed reader, you must transcribe these words in your own hand. Only deserving minds will be able to cease. Will you take the risk? I don't want to kill you. 
particularly because you seem to be insane. Uh, so maybe you'll get better now that I've taken the book. I don't... Hmm. I don't particularly want to kill him, but the game is, seems to be sort of uh, railroading me into doing that, because I can't access my mind's eye vision. Uh, oh, he has, he has been displaced from the face of reality, which is perhaps for the best uh, for him. get better eventually. Uh, what else do I have to do here? Mm, this is in Salvation Harbor. Uh, this is in Salvation Harbor. Uh, mm, those are both in Salvation Harbor. Uh, this is in Reed Heights. Sam Reed Street and Bolton Lane. Uh, this is an advent. Mm. North of the intersection of Communion Road and Museum Avenue. Uh, and Bourbon Road. Uh, those are both like... Yeah, fairly into the north. further mm, yeah, and as my luck would have it uh, it is in, a, in the infested area which I suppose there's probably at least one of those big ones here there usually is at this point uh, but I have a bit of ammunition like maybe I'll be okay
Okay, this is a bit of a problem. the intersection between Sam Reed and Bolton Lane uh, so the house is supposed to be somewhere over here I understand Absolute horse shit. Uh, intersection of Sam Reed Street and Bolton Lane. Yeah, that's exactly where I am. Intersection. learned another skill I don't particularly want this which reduces the uh, fall damage or this which reduces the damage from swimming mm, instead I think I'll downright go into this uh, mm, keep an extra bullet loaded giving a chance to deal double damage with the pistol 10 to 10 percent chance uh,
Okay, I just want to find the brain cylinder and get out. To be entirely honest. Omega-1, Traveler R. Carter, visited Moon Base Alpha Centauri, returned to Earth per Traveler's request. Next address... <laughs> Excuse me. Next address, Whisper Street between Central Street and Deep Shore Road, Eastern Grimhaven Bay. What a pity. I thought this Traveler would be great company on my way home. Maybe we'll ask him once more. Okay, I think I'm just going to flee, to be entirely honest. Okay, I don't see much point in staying here. I can I, I even can get out like maybe it's for the best if they kill me mm. provided the uh, the form uh, Omega one uh, actually saves Okay, provided the, the brain uh, canister actually saves, uh, this might be for the best as far as escaping this situation is concerned. Mm, evidence updated. Omega 1. Okay, so it did save. And my level up? Uh, did save as well. Okay. I'm satisfied. Uh, 
a healthy specimen pre previously belonging to a brave and cunning individual. Okay, this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save and end it for now. Oh, this is actually a new fast travel point, which is also great to have. Uh, anyway, that's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.